and he had uh, binoculars around his neck. I was like, this is this is the old man to stop and have the conversation with. <laughs> uh, and he was with some other older Asian guy and he was like, w kept walking and he turns around and he's like, Carl, Carl, you know? That was definitely a scream for help. No way, that's just being an older person. I think like one of the best things you can also do for yourself is to talk to older people because of all their wisdom that they have. Like one of the best things you can do to develop like, um, just to develop your own brain in the way you see the world is to talk to an older generation and to talk to a younger generation, right? So you always want to surround yourself with like, you want to have friends that are way older than you, right? So you can gain their wisdom and their perspective from their age and their wisdom. And then you also want to have friends or people around you that are younger. So you can gain knowledge of how the youth sees the world and what they think are the issues, right? And that's like one of the best things you can do. When you rated me, <laughs> You shaved one day off of my off work one day of work off my month i get paid for streaming per watch time super manga i appreciate it i love that i love that i'm glad my raid could help you thanks that's lovely i'm not sure when i'll remove the support Surround yourself by raccoons, I say. Hell no, raccoons are fucking wild. Would I rather have multiple relationships or just one to be open in the end? Um, I can't I, I can't answer that question. I can't I can't answer that question. I I can't. I have no idea. I have no idea. Until I'm done working on myself, I can't answer any type of relationship related questions. Blossoms are nice. Blossoms are nice. Right? Yeah, I had some guy ask me out on a date and I was like, wanted to say yes. And then I told him no. I was like, I'm sorry. I just can't go on a date right now. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to lose sight of what I'm trying to do with myself. And I thrive when I'm by myself. I really thrive. It's when I, it's when I, I fight for my goals, you know? Um, and I think now that I'm older, I, I won't have that fight or flight instinct. Now I just have that, like, let's thrive for the goals that we want and like, you know, but not, but not forget who you are, or what you feel or, you know, get, get caught up in the, in the mix of things. <laughs> well, care to share some wisdom you've acquired in the past six months? You've been through a lot. Um, well, patience, um, one of the things I've learned and probably the most, the biggest thing that my injury has taught me is patience, um, patience in others, patience in yourself. Um, things aren't cut and paste. It takes time and they're a roller coaster and that's okay. Um, another thing that I learned is forgiveness. Uh, I've always been a very forgiving person. Um, but I really, really, truly um, believe that I, I've got really good forgiveness. I forgive Cade for what happened to God Dog, which is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, but I truly do forgive him for that. Um, and that was really, really hard. And then the other things I'm still learning. Was it? Forgive, but never forget, I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. I forgave him for God Dog because I know God Dog would, would never want me to hold that, you know? And then God Dog was, he was an adventurous dog. He wanted, he wanted to explore, you know? What can you do?
But I don't for but I don't I don't want to be with him. I forgive him for everything he's done to me, but in my mind I need to say that he's a bad person, right? I need to stop thinking like, oh, well, he's not a good boyfriend, but he's a good person. I need to start thinking like, no, he's not a good person, right? But I don't need to hate him. I just need to know like he's not a good person and I need to say that to myself. So there's no way for him to slip back into me, slip back into this situation. So I've been saying that, you know. Wow, that's really hard. That's really big of you, Harold. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Sounds like it's you. Rain! Sounds like it's you, not him. <laughs> you can say and believe whatever you want. That's fine. No one knows anything unless they're inside of the situation, right? You can only speculate based off of words or comments people say, so that's fine. Resentment is like drinking poison, except accepting the other person, expecting the other person to die. It only makes you suffer. So forgiveness is the healthiest thing you can do for yourself, but it isn't. The, but it is the hardest thing for sure. I know that's my problem. Thank you for the hundred biddies. That's my problem with myself. Like I forgave my mom, but that's why I'm like, oh, I need to work on myself because I can't forgive myself. Right. I just can't. There's a part of me that's just like, no, nope. you're just. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'll get there eventually. I think, I think, I think once I forgive myself, I'll fall in love with myself, truly. I'm being kind with myself this year. It's the first time I think I've ever started to be kind to myself. Um, well, no, I think when people ask me, I think when people ask questions like, do you regret anything? I think that's like a terrible, terrible question to ask because I don't live in those moments anymore, so I can't regret them. Um, I can look back at them and have perspective on the way they went down. Um, so I can understand future situations, but I think to even look back at things and regret um, is just a terrible idea. And I, I, I don't even like the word regret. A hundred percent be kind. That's what I'm fucking doing. A hundred percent. Me too. You know, me too, Castle. I've never, I also have never just like, you know, like, like, I just got so shut in my house. 